What would it look like to ride alongside a beam of light? This is a question Einstein asked over a hundred years ago. Now the trouble was, he couldn't actually do the experiment, so he had to use his imagination, he had to do a thought experiment, to figure out what a reasonable outcome would be. I could imagine there'd be some element of nausea. I'd imagine everything would get more intense. Maybe it would confuse the brain, I don't really know if you'd be seeing very much. I was on a water slide just a couple of days ago and, and I found that really difficult. Einstein's intuition told him that the world should feel the same in all frames of reference moving with constant velocity. These are called inertial frames of reference. So it doesn't matter if you're in a train or on a plane or in a car or in a room. As long as you're moving with constant velocity, the, the laws, laws of physics, physics should apply in exactly, in exactly the same, same way. way. And, and this, this is what's called the, the principle of relativity. relativity. Is there a speed limit in the universe? I don't think so. So you can Is go there? as fast as you want? Probably. Could we go as fast as light? Well, I'm sure eventually, absolutely. Can you compare the speed of sound and the speed of light? Yeah, it's however many times quicker, isn't it? Because you've got the, the lightning, and, th lightning and thunder. Roughly how much quicker is, is ten light? Ten times. Roughly ten times? Ten times? I think it's a ten or a hundred, I don't know, something like that. The answer for you is a million. It's, oh. Light is a million times faster than sound. Perhaps thought or... Thought is faster than light. Yeah. It's oh. immediate. It's there. So let's do a little thought experiment. Let's say I'm on a train traveling the speed of light that way. Who am I kidding? This is city rail. We're lucky to be moving. But let's use our imagination. So let's say I'm traveling at the speed of light this way. If I hold up a mirror in front of my face, will I be able to see my reflection? Do you see the problem? In order for me to see my reflection, light has to bounce off my face and travel to the mirror. But if the mirror is going forwards at the speed of light, how is the light ever going to catch up? So a logical answer would be that no, you can't see your face in a mirror when you're on a train traveling at the speed of light. But that violates the principle of relativity because it means that I can tell I'm in a frame of reference that's going at the speed of light that way. Oh crap, not again. So let's consider the other option. Maybe I do see my reflection, which means the light must travel from my face to the mirror at its regular speed, the speed of light. But now the problem is, someone outside the train would see light traveling at twice the speed of light. Because I'm already traveling at the speed of light, and the light is traveling at the speed of light relative to me. If that makes any sense. So that leads to a really inconsistent answer. Because how can the speed of light be twice the speed of light in that frame of reference? So Einstein's conclusion was that I must see my reflection because otherwise it violates the principle of relativity. But in order for me inside the train to measure the same speed of light as someone outside the train, the train must actually contract in the direction that it's moving. And my time must tick by slower relative to someone outside. So Einstein changed what we thought were absolutes, space and time, and made something that seemed like it should be relative the speed of light into the true universal constant. So what would it look like to travel alongside a beam of light? Well, according to Einstein, we'll never know because we can't go that fast. At that speed, our length would become zero. Time would stop relative to an outside observer and perhaps worst of all, our mass would become infinite. But a recent experimental result has uh, suggested that neutrinos can go faster than light. Still, most physicists think that, well, this result probably won't hold up to scrutiny because the principle of relativity is just uh, so well established nowadays. But who knows? Perhaps one day we'll find a way to break what we thought was the universal speed limit, the speed of light.